he has returned. I think I'm not gonna go back to the subway ever again. Maybe not. Now, I had just been in there for a good while farming stuff, like a few levels higher than I left off. I got a new gun. But I figured there's not much point in me going back there now. It's kind of like too low for me to gain levels and doesn't pay as well. So, I'm just going to go here instead, and probably get my ass beat. What's this guy doing here at their entrance? Can't aggro him. Are you alive? Oh, that one's alive. Yeah, this guy doesn't have a burst on it, which kind of sucks, or any specials. But it's got like good normals. So I think it makes up for it. I also picked up a good pet. Level 25. I think what I was using before was like level 16. still going to take a long ass time. Yeah. I went through it on my own on the subway just because it didn't, it didn't... There's nothing really new there. It's just the, the same old, same old... At least in the the deep subway. These guys are like always top it out levels. These guys at the entrance, I feel like. I guess these aren't that twenty nine isn't that high. It's just higher than I am. Man. I'm gonna have a hard time getting through here if I can't hit anything. Yeah. It's pretty similar. The image profile is the other gun I was using, which is fine. It's just faster. But it has no specials. So you can imagine how unlikely a site is of someone actually using a flamethrower in this game. This is, of course, the easier ones on the other side. Can I just, like, not fight him? Okay. Ideally, I could get a neutrino flash, but it's not gonna be for a long time unless I can get in a team somehow notice this gun isn't really reloading didn't seem like it at least Okay, I don't want to aggro that one. I do want to aggro this guy, though. I want his cloak. Hmm. 
Now, I did a uh, look at the damage calculator on a uh, you know comparing these two guns. It said that the solar powered ones did more damage over time. Can I not actually kill this man? Is he regenning too fast? It's like infinite HP. Oh yeah, I got I picked up an assault rifle expertise. I should probably use it. Just picked it up with a random mod going to the subway. Yeah, I kinda it's like part of me was just like, do I wanna just grind credits off camera in the subway to get like all geared up to kill the subway bosses, but they don't really have anything I want. And honestly, the living cyber armor is not really worth collecting in this version. That's a big boost. Just like plus 80. Um. Okay, she's actually there. Hope she didn't just spam heals and then never be able to kill her. If nothing else, she'll just run out of nano after enough time. Hey, what's my range? 136. That's pretty close. I'm really gonna have to go through this entire woman's nano. This is going to be a really long fight. Is there? Is there? Nope. That's too bad. Okay, I should never fight enemies that have healing because it's just gonna take 15 minutes to kill it. Keep an eye on it. I don't think it's going down at all. It's about time. I don't think I'm gonna leave the uh, the main room because of that. At least, I don't think so. There's no real reason to. Honestly, just getting that 25k from the Redberry wine would be a big, big fetch for me right now. 
like an hour of farming in the subway got me like 15k. Not really farming, but you know, just clearing it. It is going down. Okay. It's just not showing up here. Okay. I think someone someone's run through here. He's not gonna. I don't want to fight the Reverend because he's kind of a pain in the ass. As far as healing, I think I have to aggro one of these guys. Maybe both of them. I feel like there's not as much, uh, there's not nearly as much stuff you pick up from the, uh, Nubia Islands as there are the Eerie Landing. I mean, I guess if you're sighted, you get a lot more. I kind of beat my ass a little bit. Damn. I think I might have also... No, I did that in the last video. Such new uh, health packs. I don't really use them very often, though. I'm not gonna have enough ammo to get through here. <laughs> I did bring my shitty assault rifle though, but I needed. And technically, this one, I have the extra ammo. Maybe I ought to poke my head out. This, this is taking like way too long. Um, what does this do? Yeah, it's just a replacement for this one.
drop that. Um, I'll poke my head out in here real quick. I do not want to kill those. Uh, I don't want to go on that side either. Damn. Okay, they're not actually there. Yeah, I'm about to switch out my guns here soon. Not enough ammo. So I, got, I still got like a shitty starting belt, too. I've not been able to afford anything. Another player gave me this, this buff uh, a while ago when I was farming, I think. That's too bad. Oh, is that a gun? It is. Huh. I'm not sure I ever showed this off, but the uh, the mobs in the temple will drop these similar kind of guns. So theoretically, I could pick up a better assault rifle in here, too. Okay. What is UPH? That's something important. Probably know what it is, but I don't know what it is. That's okay. I can't even cast them yet, it's not 25. You can kill my pet. My skills are high enough. Oh, because the, the buff fell off. Oh, I'm pull the the what's its The mobs, Halloween mobs. I think I uh, went to those at some point and then decided it wasn't worth killing them. Uncle Pumpkin Heads. This 
this give me damage? It does, but not in the right place. Well, that's not true. This one doesn't either, so... But neither does this anymore. My treatment? Oh, all my stats been lowered. They're not actually there. It seems like when they get trained like this, they get into this state where they don't know where their life is. Yeah, come to the come to the side of the door. There you go. No. There we go. If the cultists that are lower than me are fine. I gotta beat their ass pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure this sort of thing happens on live too, it just looks a little different. They get leashed back or something and then they get broken. I could have opted to farm for some living cyber armor, but honestly, this stuff is about as good or better. My heal pet giving up, or is he just can't see me because I'm on the other side of the door? It's something I've noticed the, the pets. Even if you're in combat, they won't, like, try to make line of sight with you if they're heal pets or, like, their attack target, basically. Luckily, they don't understand. They need to go through the door. But it's okay, because we're just better. I've, yeah, I've got a pretty big stockpile of IP points I'm not using. I'm putting points into bursts because I know I'm going to use it on the Neutrino Flash at some point. Okay, got one. I don't know what's past that though, I can take a look. Um The Hell Fury Assault Weapon. It's not fashion locked at least. Where did they go? <sighs> yeah, the Hell Fury Soul Can is much worse damage and much higher requirements. 
Neutrino Flash. I think there's another variant. Need to check. Hopefully don't die when I'm not paying attention. This is one thing in that magic specials, you don't gotta worry about <laughs> actually pressing your specials. Doo -doo. Is this any good? I don't think it is. Yeah, it's a rifle. It's not even a assault rifle. It's a feedback rifle. Not that I could ever get it though. Um Okay. That's like a classic AO thing is that they start spawning inside the walls. Don't attack. Oh, this thing's gonna be a long fight because they just spam the nano. Not even attacking really, they just attack once and then use the nano. It's like as fast as they possibly can. Oh, they exhaust their nano supply. <laughs> that was it. It was they had two times. I don't know. <sighs> Hell Fury assault cannon. The shock cannon. That's what it was. This is an assault rifle. Actually, they're both assault rifles. So one of them is better. I guess because it has full auto. And a lot more damage. A lot more damage. Anyway, that might be the end game possible weapon I might go for. Although the uh, the upgrade paths from it are not even implemented yet, I don't think. It says the uh, the upgrade items are from like the the raid bosses, Ruby Cow raids. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, they're not alive. That one is the oh no. Disaster. Good thing they're really weak. Yeah, I don't really know any alternatives besides maybe just getting a really high level um, plasma projector maybe, or just random other junk weapons. Um, what's this? It's also got like a level 170 flag too. So, well, maybe not. Maybe it's not going to happen ever. They're not there. Okay, how do I do this? I just pull one at a time. Oh, my pet got over there. Uh, assault rifles. I guess I could just Google it.
Ooh, viable weapons. Division 9, yeah. Perennium Blaster, yeah, that's a... Uh, AI weapons. More AI weapons. That's a Shadowlands. Doesn't seem very good though. OFAB Shark is not. No. That's a very short list. It's just like. Division 9. Perennium Blaster, and then a couple of AI weapons. I figured that would happen. Damn. I think this is the time where I run. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill those two. See if they'll leash all the way back here. They didn't. They tried. I don't even want to be here in this section. I want to be. I want my red blind so I can actually make some money off this trip. Ooh, this one's gonna take a while. Alright, there's gotta be a better list than this. Come on. That website's dead. This is a very common issue with this game, looking up documentation. Augmented health, fury, yeah, blah, blah. No facts. Oh, I know what that is. I think it's a, it's a raid drop, though. People bickering about ACs. Breed, blah, blah, blah. Assault rifles. It's perks. I don't care about perks. Put them in there, I like them. AO setups? Why would I want to do that? It's not even a list here, it's just, just, just AO setups. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Soldier, soldier, soldier. I don't care about soldiers. Really? Premium Supernova Mark 6. This is... I don't know. Well, it takes 12 seconds to attack. So I'm going to assume it's not very good. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Spam out as like every single weapon that I can't use because it's all like AI or uh, what is that? Lost Eden. Nova once. Can I just look at that? No. What is a Nova one? It is not listed. Nova flow. Yeah. That seemed like a decent weapon. I don't know how to get it though. It's also no, it's what's it? It's it's two handed. What is the like level fifty variant? Sure. It's not bad. Level 17 variant, or I guess level 20, just put that in there. It's like marginally better, very kind of slightly, not really actually because the attack time is worse than what I have right now. Just gotta take what I can get. Also range energy too. There is not a very good selection of assault rifles in this game right now. I don't want to fight the Alkali, he's going to take 10 years to kill. Okay, that guy's not even alive. Upgraded starter weapon, OFAB, I don't have that, Neutrino Flash, damn, so basically, <laughs> just exactly what they told me. <laughs> I like how the progression of assault rifles on live right now is just starter weapon, the illegal OFAB weapon, neutrino flash, then, um, what's it? Hell spinner. And then it's upgraded variants. Some of these weapons aren't even on this version because they're, uh, what do you call that, 8.8. .8. Generally the stuff that drops in the wreck.
man. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Shot the thought out more, maybe, but it's too late now. It'll be fine once I get Neutrino Flash. It'll be actually viable. Man. It's like. Yeah, to pick and choose which cultists to kill. Some of them are just stronger than others. Well, I've heard you can get upgrade kits for these weapons too. But I don't know who and is going to drop me one. I just know that they exist. Oh, I will try to look it up real quick. The exact one I need. Um, assault rifle. I think it's, it's probably like gonna try to put me on full auto, which I don't want. I don't want to fight that guy; he's too tough. But man, it's like all the enemies are hiding behind him. I guess I'll just pick this guy out then. Assault rifle. Do do. -do. The basic upgrade kit. So basically, I can just upgrade it to have. I don't. I need the adjustment kit to really upgrade it. Clip weapons upgrade kit. There's a lot of people farming hecklers and stuff like that right now. In the Shadowlands. Because it is just better XP. It's faster levels. Which is something that you want later on. Maybe like after 60. It gets kind of a pain riding on Rubika. But, uh, early on, generally not a big issue. You get levels pretty fast. Guess I just gotta kill this guy. Uh oh. I don't like that guy now. You're gonna be like that, huh? How far do you leash? What? <laughs> okay. You're just teleporting to me. Oh no. Yeah, that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing.
Sometimes it means you can aggro mobs that you can't normally aggro. Here, they just popped up. But, uh, at least in here, they kind of like teleport to you sometimes. They can't pathfind. I don't think they're my level range right now. I'm about as low as you can be in here. with those Ninos. There we go. Oh, I don't want to... Oh, no. I don't want to fight him. He's going to take 10 years to kill. I think I was too late. Trade Skill Department of Neutral General Stores. Ooh. Okay. Um. That might be good. Let's see. 67. Yeah, it's like a slight damage upgrade. Also wants to use full auto though. Can't equip it yet. Am I close? Kind of? A few levels away maybe. Apparently I can help an engineer with certain quests. Um Okay.
to reward you with an advanced weapon upgrade. I'm not sure this guy is in the game right now. I don't remember this man. I guess I've just never seen him because he's in the middle of nowhere. I think I'm pretty far away from uh, being able to do that quest. It seems like you have to be level 100 at least. Eh, ballpark. Looking at the mobs it's telling you to kill. What's the other way? I guess I could just buy it just to look at the stores, maybe, if they're at a better price. What is the actual quest quest that I have to do? Bucket head alloy grifter. Sends you kill or something like that. So you basically have to kill twelve things. You have to like do a bunch of like really hard bosses, kind of, and then uh, kill like a couple low-level things. Oh, the reward is level 180. I think that's the issue. This mission is entire is made for high level players. Engineer Heath Bridges. Who's next? One of these guys, maybe? There's one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this cash. I never had this much money. At least not this character. I think of my uh my original gum meter or whatever, I had like a million credits at one point. It's a lot of farming in the foreman sewers.
I feel like if I were firing a flamethrower so much in this room, like the EMB temperature would go up. Where are you going? Oh, did you get aggravated on my pet or something? To be honest, they'd go for some higher implants too. But I don't know. So much stuff to buy. One of the things you kind of forget. Okay, they're not actually alive. Playing like retail anarchy online. If you ask, someone will probably just give you money, like millions of credits. If you just ask nicely. And you just never have to worry about it again, pretty much. Like, there's not really that much need for money after a certain point. Like, you might spend maybe like 20 million credits over the course of like getting to 200. Maybe, eh, maybe not. It depends. If you go for high implants and you like hire someone to make them, you could kind of get gouged there. Hmm, yeah, are gonna be harder. Uh, there we go. Popped around the corner. I could get use this as a weapon. Faint taste of copper. I mean, it's, it's blood. It also, again, kind of looks like an electronic toothbrush.
I knew it. <sighs> I kind of like this triple dipple toothbrush that I actually use, and it's a good one. It does a good job, but it takes like the replacement head or whatever is like twenty dollars or fifteen dollars, and they break after like a few months. Maybe four or five months. I think. I don't know. Just a ballpark. Oh. Uh, never really lower than three months, I don't think. I don't know why this happens. I know it happens on live too. Where the numbers will drop off your, your guns. I guess maybe it's supposed to be like, oh, you don't know how much ammo you have in your gun because you're not paying attention. You're supposed to like count your bullets or something, but. I don't know. It's a pretty common video game thing to tell you how many bullets you have. Oh, he's not, he's not actually there. Maybe... Maybe there should be a write-up on that one. Like mobs, like get trained. Don't return, or don't, like, come back to life or whatever. Be pretty hard to observe, though. I'm not sure how exactly you would do it. Unless you just had two players. Like two actual people and one of them you trained and one of them either had like some kind of ghost mode where mobs can't see you. But you can still move around fast, not just like sneaking. I think there might be some kind of cloak, if I remember right, like the arcs had. I'm not sure it works against mobs, though. Again, I have been playing, I probably played for like an hour and a half on my own, and then uh, an hour now, roughly, not crash. Ooh, another one. Getting juicy. It's also full auto, are these all full auto? a worse gun though. I can equip it right now. Fatty bullets. Wait, is it coming bullets in my backpack? A tiny little gun. 
I think it's supposed to be a one-handed model. I want to see where it's pulling these bullets from, because I don't have any in my inventory. Definitely looks like better damage, though. You know, it's like, it's like barely higher. Like, seven points higher kind of damage. Also, oh, I guess because it's uh, it's projectile, it's getting buffed from this too. So it's 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 a trade off. I don't know. This is more like a PvP gun almost, because the duck explosions and the fire AC. Run. Okay. Yeah, it is kind of a pain, like, you either have to, like, slog your way through a ton of cultists, they don't give you any XP to get to the end of this dungeon, or you just run through them all and train them on people. Not a huge issue right now, because there's not, like, a ton of people playing, but on live, it can be an issue. Well, they used to be at least. Not so much anymore because everyone just plays multi boxes and super twinks. Look at these guys. Yeah, they're 60. What do they got there? Like some kind of. I don't know what they got. I can't check either because this doesn't work yet. Unfortunately. Them and all their buffs. <laughs> yeah. They can like fix their buffs too, man. Just let me just uh, uh, I'm gonna like, pop some a couple more cultists. Up oh, my out of ammo. I guess maybe it dropped me in with like full ammo, or maybe I just can't attack this guy.
Yeah, I feel like I could really the damage, the short-term damage buff would really do me a lot of good here. So I might head back after this level for it. And then I might just, I think I'm going to cut for a while, because you get the idea of what I'm doing here. It's a lot of cultist killing and just farming. I doubt I'm going to find any, any gun that's going to be particularly better than what I got right now. I'm not like killing anything at higher level now, so if I get something that gets better, it's gonna be like one or two levels maybe. I can't imagine doing this as like a non-meta physicist with these kind of guns. These are not... It's not good enough to like make up for a lack of healing. I thought it was a play there. It's cultist. Fake ass Mauser. Okay. Another one? No, it's a grenade launcher. Still shop food. Let's see here. Just dump a bunch of points in. Am I there yet? I don't think I am. Yeah, I'm like one point short. Okay. Oh. It's time to cheat my way back. Drop off this wine. It's like the gun is so small it doesn't even really fit into a second hand. Is guy a vendor? He is not. It's okay. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a bug in the game right now that'll, uh, like, well, not really bug, unintended feature, let's call it. Where the uh, zones, like switching zones, will take longer based on how many quests you've completed. And apparently my armor got mixed. What? Why are there chest piece on? Okay, that was a little weird. Anyway, I need to invest in some new nanos really badly. I got the cash too. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, it's shop food. I think I might give me some new flamethrower ammo as well. Huh. Uh, yes, metaphysicist. Can I do that? Um, I'd bring him up to 80. I could buy on that would be the biggest the deal breaker there, I think. If I had three teachings running... And the uh, composites, I would be close to that. I don't think I can even run all that. My, my shitty NCU. These cost 80 each, so I can only run two. So, we're getting the cheapo version. What, this one? Maybe. This one's a definite buy. Just give me that right now. Next, uh, how high can I go as far as pets? So obviously, I can get plus twenty. I think I might be able to use that if I have the cash everything. Let's see. Combat, medical, melee, nano. Where'd it go? There it is. That's 160. Uh, slot rifle expertise might have to go. Teachings of material creation and the other one. Time and space. Oh, I think I'm short. Man. I like to order these like this generally and just have them lined up in the hot bar. I like this be teaching and then mastery and the other two. So, one hundred eighty five. Oh, maybe I am. I am. I'm like just, just there. It's like all my money. All right, so we're jumping from 25. Let's see what we get. Twenty five to forty. That's a pretty big leap. I wonder what's next on the list as far as heal pets. Salvanius. I, I am close to that. I'm not already there already. Yeah, I'm there. I see the cash. That's definitely gonna be the next buy. I'm gonna come back. I think probably in a few levels. And maybe a good bit of credits later. 
Alrighty, heading up north. Gonna grab me some important stuff that I need. Important groceries I need to get out of the temple. I think I've jumped like three or four levels. Just going around killing, killing all these cultists, killing them. I got me a new heal pet. I'd like to get me an exarch robe and maybe I'm strong enough to kill the curator maybe you can get me a uh, a red ring drop at least at the very least I get a notum ring and maybe some uh gloves I don't know. It's like mobs that are normally dangerous when they have nasty spells that they cast aren't really so dangerous right now because they don't seem to cast them. Man, these guys are just scattered all over the place. I also got a new newer gun. It's a tiny little bit better than what I was using. Okay. Nothing substantial though. Also I've been picking up a bit of cash. I think my method from now on is just in this level range at least, just push to the uh the red wine and then go back just repeat I was not able to afford or cast the high level variant of this. I can't remember which one it was. It's probably affording. I think. I don't know. This is still a pretty big damage boost on its own. Could go for a long term damage boost too, though. But I bet really cranks out a lot more damage now, but don't seem to hold aggro very well. Now it's doing it now. I was fighting Defender 3 earlier and they kept swapping aggro. You know I like shit damage pretty much. And I see another soldier coming through here with like I think it was some solar, it was either a solar powered rifle that had been kind of like cranked up the assault rifle or something that looked very similar to it but was not very strong either. Uh, 
going through over here without an attack pet that does like hundreds of damage would be painful. Not even just uh, hundreds of damage, just okay damage. Like, if I was just using this gun, it would suck. Kind of weird that these guys don't care about George, but the guys in the subway do. Kind of. I think they do. At some point, I want to make a transition into the foreman's sewers. I think I want to get a real weapon first, though. Really? I'm not even pointing at the right guy. Come on. Oh, this guy is hurting me. Thirty-two. Oops, that eh, should be fine. Yeah, my attributes are pretty cranked right now. I haven't been dumping points into like run speed or treatment and stuff, so. Or like any of my nano skills really. Or any evades. I don't know, evades just doesn't really seem to do you much good unless you build into it. And that kind of takes a lot of money, trade skillers. Missions, generally, not necessarily required, but, uh, let's see, a pock, close enough. Alright, I'm gonna start small. Need one of these wing collars. Okay. Okay, so the uh, the evade armors are not profession locked at least. It's a good start. They are side. General leather sided, so like. There's one type that's Omni and one type that's Clam. I think you can wear either of them if you're neutral.
<laughs> equip a six slot trader belt. I don't think he can do that in Predator because it relies on expansions that are in the game right now. Probably uses one of the towers, which is not in the game. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I can kill one of these Exarchs then. Extra wine. Too bad I can't carry more than one. Can I hit him though? Yeah. Not so long ago, these guys were cranked. Like they would hit. One for one or whatever. Really fast. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be a battle of attrition. Have to drain his nano. Yeah, I think the uh, the healing spam might be need to be tuned back a little bit. Because if you don't have enough damage to OD it, you just end up draining their nano. Oh, then he gets to the phase where he attacks, he targets me with heals. Sometimes. I think he's run out. He ran out of juice. Yeah, I can definitely kill this guy, it just takes forever.
no drops either. Damn. Hopefully this guy doesn't cast heals a lot faster if he doesn't. Oh, these guys are bullet sponges. Guys are respawning behind me. Oh no. I should probably get out of the way for the alkalite. Oh no. Disaster. Whatever. Just do it this way. Let's take the aggro. I don't know why the pets. Oh, because he attacked both of them, that's why. I'm like, I don't know why that one's. They're both on him. Yeah. I think my client still thinks my attack pet is attacking the Exarch, but it's not happening. I think. Who knows? I swear this guy dead. No, he's gotta be attacking someone else. Oh, how did you spawn? did you spawn here? What? Okay, it's time to get the scum strat. Oh, I can't use my special while I'm running. Come on, did you just die? No, of course not. I don't know how these guys are still alive. Oh, I can't even cast a new pet either. I killed something. Oh, do you finally kill that one cultist? Uh. Keep spamming heals, probably. Alrighty. Of course, you gotta attack the cultist. It seems like if you're running sideways, you don't attack with the cheaty attack. Kind of trained them around a little bit because they're so close to dying. It's 
What's my heal pad doing? It's like my attack pad is killing everything but I what I wanted to. There we go. Of course. Well, it could it could be worse. Probably take me about as long to kill these guys, to kill one of the Exarchs for the other one to respawn. Yeah, I can't see myself soloing to the neutrino flash right now, it's just not gonna happen. Like, the guy hits for like 200 and he hits real fast. I guess I should make a stop. The other guy, real quick. These guys are still respawning. And all these cultists have come back. I think it actually gave me a pretty big damage boost. It's like plus 10 now. Compared to like the plus 2 or whatever. I might die. I hope that I draw him out. I drew somebody out. Oh, it's a pitchfork man. Well, he's gotta die at some point. Yeah, I've noticed that uh, all the the eyes, the right hand, are both assault rifle implants. But my idea for that is basically uh, metaphysicists plateau pretty early on. So by that point, I can just switch it out for assault rifle stuff when the time comes. And you was just ready, gearing to go. Probably heal the guy who's actually taking damage. I don't know why he switched aggro to me. 
Maybe because he just got stunned. It's kind of beating my ass now, though. It's funny, he's about as hard as the Exarchs. I am dying. There's a cultist in there. I can't run in there and hide very easily. I think it's probably the safest room right now though. Fight does drag out. I don't know if I plan on going to the Shadowlands or not. <sighs> Maybe. It's like on the one hand, it's not really like finished or like polished at all. It's pretty rough. But. On the other hand, it's also like way faster to gain experience there. Everything drops way more experience. I don't know. I think it just depends on how much I want to grind or not. There's a lot of money to be made at the foreman's if you're willing to grind there. Channel Rage is refreshed. I think I actually I put a perk into that too. Should be the level 2 now. Well, I guess it doesn't really stay anywhere except here. It's got a chance to. Whoops. I guess I could have got Soothing Spirits too, but whatever. I'll probably get it to level 40. At some point I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll put a point in a nano doctorate. I wouldn't be surprised if a cultist respawns on top of me. I burned through like what four short term buffs now. I don't think there's like almost any other class right now that could pull this off. If it is, it'd be rough. Unless you have some kind of twinking going on. Got some really powerful weapon. Oh, it's possible. I think traders are probably the most likely. A 
a really powerful weapon. You got drains, you got the nano trickle whatever stuff. I don't think he's fighting properly right now. He seems to be only using his melee attack. He didn't drop the red ring. That's so sad. I'm not gonna alarm for it. It's just not worth it. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah, you can get the platinum ring, which is basically the same thing, but slightly worse. It's a lot less effort. Let's see if I can find like a safe spot, maybe. I should probably go for the, the one that doesn't cast heals first. Seems like a good idea. I want his robe. I think he drops drops robes. Give me a big boost to my ACs. Because right now I've got like some old armor from the Aquan camp. I'm not really sure what I'm going to replace it with. I could always farm Rhino then, but I don't know. Seems like it's what you do every time now. It seems like that's the that's the new staple armor. Oops, I didn't mean to use that. Even classes that don't benefit really from the bonuses that it gives, like the melee bonuses, still end up liking it. Because it's just, it's flat ACs plus max health, which is just overall good. And there's not like any special tricks you need to get to it. I don't know. It might be the subject for some tuning. Probably getting tuned back off anything. I'm not sure how though. Either it'll become weaker or harder to get but balance issues uh, which is something I've noticed bridal men armor seems to be like the armor of choice right now I guess the, the major downside of it is that there's a limited level range like you pretty much as far as I know, you get up to level 100, and that's basically it. There's a camp in Drama Woods, that's the one I've been to, that drops 
in that range. So after that point, you gotta figure out something else, but hopefully at that point you can do something. Whether it's farming other enemies for mives, or getting some trade skills together maybe. Or just farming dinas. Is they have like a oh some okay armor sets in there. That was like the other options. Damn. Well, I'm gonna go to the other side. So that that cultist doesn't spawn on me when I kill the next guy. It's a grenade launcher. I ought to check the shops for the upgrade kits, but I really shouldn't. I don't know. If I can like make this do more damage, that would be a good thing, but I don't want to enable full auto. Necessarily. I don't plan on using full auto for all. At least, I don't think so. I'm probably gonna be on the neutrino flash for a while, which doesn't use it. All right, I think we got him. actually hit him. There we go. Now it's only gonna take like 10 years for him to drain his nano down. No casts. Whatever. I was gonna say combined arms. Uh, something. Or, uh, what's it? Close air support. That's not what it is. It's like. something. something. symbiotic. There's probably a real name for it. Although it might just be a person's name. Oh, is it not what I thought it was? Clan or Anarchist Syndicate. Yeah, it's just something made up. I mean, all of it's made up, but you get, you get the idea. Anyway, it's a pretty. Uh, besides the skills, I mean, I, I think. The only one that's kind of like weird for me would be the uh, chemistry checks. So if I like spec into chemistry, I could probably make uh, gas. That'd be a pretty good armor set. 
The only unfortunate thing is that it drops, uh, well, not drops. It requires pretty specific drops. Like the symbiotic armor, not symbiotic, the organic and the graft armor is not super common outside of mission rewards. Notum chips are pretty uncommon, especially if you're hunting for a specific level. It's one of those items where it seems like when you're actually looking for it, it's really hard to find. But if you're not, you just shop food it. I think I eventually just started collecting them on retail and just had a big backpack full of them. I'm kind of dying now. I was paying attention. He's kind of stuck onto me for some reason. I don't know why. I guess the other downside of Cass, I guess you could call it a downside, is it only goes up to 200, as far as I can tell. Yeah. If you consider that a downside, I doubt it'll ever need it over 200. I think some of the other armor sets like Mize will go up to 300. Am I dead? Yeah, they might have been dead. Been killed. No, I can't stand up. Uh oh, am I disconnected? Nope, YouTube loaded just fine. Someone outside honking? What? Oh, it's the first crash. Well, at least the body doesn't disappear. Unfortunately, he did not drop what I wanted him to. Damn. That one seemed... I don't know if it was a crash necessarily, it seemed like I got disconnected from the server. Well, for whatever reason. Consider it a crash because it just dropped me back to my desktop. Not really any kind of prompt. Still not bad though. I think I've been playing for like a good six hours now at least. For the first crash.
Okay, I'm gonna pop one level and then I'm gonna dip out of here. So I, uh, I don't want to farm these guys forever. For their robe. Might do it later on my own, maybe. Yeah, I think the Neutrino Flash is like 300, the assault rifle. So I'm still pretty far away. Even if I did get in now. Even if I bought new imps. And like, the full set. I'd probably still be a good 80 points away, 75 maybe. I would need a wrangle that I can't fit in my NCU right now. It's just not gonna happen. Where's the music in this place? If I turn the music off, I think I might have. Yeah. I keep the music turned off because it generally it kind of cuts in and out a lot. Like you'd be in a fight and it'll just like. It'll only play in the last little bit of the fight or something, and it's just... I would be okay with it if it didn't only play occasionally on certain fights or certain pieces of it. The Militia Guard. How much would the, uh, like, actual, if I were to spec into this, like, plus 10, if I spec'd into, like, blunt, I would have, like, plus 20 or something, maybe. Not really enough to consider it as... Like an actual main line. I guess it is supposed to be the main line, but it's it's not good enough for me. Mm, yeah, I'm just keeping these guns around in case we're out of the ammo. Let's go check up on the store probably got something good for me give me a fancy new pet oh yeah I can like top out on the store I didn't even have high level imps either I wonder what I could do with real imps Right now I got a little 10 stuff. Let's go see. How high can I go? I think if I, if I do 50, I won't have enough money. Oh, my, uh, buffs fell off. Let's see here. That would be a plus 30. So basically I would get plus 20 in each of them. Okay. It was that 50 or that 30? That was 50. Okay. 
So I get plus 10 in each of them for upgrading, and they're plus 5, I want to go level 20. I'm not sure that's worth it. But I do want to see... Yeah. Newer, higher level stuff. I've also, I know last, my last character, I signed up with the clan at the end. So that I could use their store, their superior store. I wanted to see if the store in Job has the superior uh, nano crystals for sale. That was one I missed. 53, 258. Um, well, I don't think I'm there yet. <laughs> I would need plus 20. So I would need to replace my M low 50s. Which is not impossible right now, but it's asking for a lot. A lot of money. Hmm. This might be a, a part where I, I make a cut and then jump to where I have the money. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm on my last run here. I'm getting this man his groceries. It's probably be the last thing I do. Seems like the server's getting some pitches. I think I did it like three times. Not too many. Yeah, goodbye. Just disconnected like twice so far. In the time I've been running this wine. I think I have cash now. I got. I just bought all the implants on their own earlier. Pretty sure I can equip them. Let's see. Yeah, I can equip them. I don't need to get like any trivia boost or anything. Although that's probably a good idea. A trivia boost is generally just a good thing. Um. Yeah, I can just go in here. Take out all these old garbage. My treatment isn't high enough. That's okay. I got points to spare on that. Not too many, but I can I can spare it for that. Now, if I was really being greedy about it, I could have like. Uh, I have like a level one character that I made for running Omni Med suits, but uh, if I don't have to, I'm not going to. Anyway, I should have a pretty good boost to my nano skills now. Yeah, they're looking pretty good now. See what I can order. Ooh. 264. So I can, I can do that one pretty much. If I had more biomed, I could do the. Wait, no, I couldn't. Never mind. I probably get about like level 40 maybe. In the 40s. So all these. All right. 
Let's get me a new pet. Uh, I guess I don't gotta do any of that stuff this time. Hoping I don't, there's any of those changes. Last one was like level 40. This one is 52. So I'm like 20 levels higher now. And me, I might be in range to the foreman's, but I've been at this for a while now. I think I'm gonna take a break.